Hello, my name is Shirley Bernard. I have the enormous privilege of being an alumna of the University of Minnesota, as well as a teacher at this great university. I'd like to share with you what it means to belong to a community of teachers and scholars who are driven to discover. I'm standing on Northrop Mall, the historic seat and heart of the university. Founded in 1851, seven years before the state of Minnesota was established. The University of Minnesota is one of the nation's most comprehensive institutions and the state's only major research university. It was founded in the belief that all people are enriched by learning, understanding, and the search for truth. I was a theater student here in the 1960s, studying with such greats as Arthur Ballot, Dr. George Amberg, the renowned art of the film professor, and Dr. Frank Whiting, who was revered as our theater department chair and who later convinced Sir Tyrone Guthrie to establish the Midwest's first nationally distinguished theater right here in our Twin Cities. As a young person just starting out, I was so proud to be part of a very strong theater community, driven to push the boundaries of our art and share our contributions with the world at large. The legacy of that golden age is a metropolitan area second only to New York in the number of theaters and equity hours worked. But that's the legacy of only one discipline. University of Minnesota researchers and teachers have made discoveries across the entire academic spectrum. Let me take you on a legacy journey along the University of Minnesota's four block long Scholar's Walk, which pays tribute to some of the university's greatest minds. Our walk is the 1998 brainchild of Clint Hewitt, then Associate Vice President for Master Planning. Its development was overseen by a Scholar's Walk committee led by Professor Victor Bloomfield. Now, eight years later, it is the country's only public landmark honoring the achievements of faculty, students, and alumni. Connecting Appleby Hall on the Mississippi with the university's McNamara Alumni Center, Scholar's Walk bisects the mall, running the entire length of the university's East Bank campus nearly 2,200 feet. Here we see our first monuments to department legacy scholars by Walter Library, to distinguished teachers between Walter Library and Smith Hall, to McKnight chairs and professors between Murphy and Vincent Halls, and by Tate Lab to recipients of University of Minnesota honorary degrees. As we cross Church Street, we encounter additional monuments to the university's regents professors. Immediately west of Andrew Leicester's platonic figure are monuments to students who have been named Rhodes, Marshall, and Truman Scholars. Just east of the platonic figure, we arrive at a focal point of the walkway, the spectacular 253-foot-long Wall of Discovery between Ackerman Hall and the Electrical Engineering and Computer Science Building. The 19th century French philosopher Marcel Proust once commented, the voyage of discovery is not in seeking new landscapes, but in having new eyes. Or as the wall of discovery states, the greatest minds look beyond what is to what could be. Since 1851, scholars at the University of Minnesota have reshaped our world by developing cures, inventing products, solving problems, and creating art, as documented here in their own hand. The scholars whose work is honored here had original insights that truly enabled us to see the world anew. These discoverers developed a way to reverse memory loss in mice, holding out hope for people with Alzheimer's performed the world's first successful bone marrow transplants, invented the supercomputer, transistorized cardiac pacemaker, black box flight recorder, and synthetic rubber, composed great music, wrote world-class novels, poetry, and plays, 
and designed some of the world's most distinctive large-scale buildings. This is Scholar's Walk proper, a wide pathway featuring 40 burr oaks, several distinctive plantings and walkways, and limestone monuments with the names of the honorees etched under glass panels. Here are listed the recipients of major national and international awards, such as the Nobel and Pulitzer Prizes, the National Medal of Science, and the National Book Award. We also encounter MacArthur Fellows, Fellows of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, National Academies of Sciences and Engineering, and Institute of Medicine, as well as individuals who have received major disciplinary awards from professional or scholarly societies. A grove framed by ginkgos recognizes the university's Nobel Prize recipients. Discoveries honored here include the cyclotron, the transistor, the assimilation of carbon dioxide by plants, and the causes and effects of public regulation on market function. Just beyond the large limestone gates marking the eastern border of Scholars Walk is Regents Plaza, which lists all University of Minnesota Regents and recipients of the top award for service to the university, the Regents Award. Among the award recipients are Carlisle Anderson, class of 32, a major benefactor of Scholars Walk and the nearby Alumni Wall of Honor, as well as the newest recipients, Fred Friswald, 58, and Larry Lauka, 58, the volunteers whose visionary leadership led to the development not only of Scholars Walk and the Alumni Wall of Honor, but also of the McNamara Alumni Center. In this effort, they were joined by the Alumni Center owners, the University of Minnesota Foundation, the University of Minnesota Alumni Association, and the Minnesota Medical Foundation, whose participation and support were critical to completion of the project. As one who has benefited so immensely from the great minds I encountered here, I can understand why alumni have led the charge in honoring the more than 800 individuals represented here, because it is alumni who truly understand how vital great professors and researchers are to the lives of all the students. Alfred Lord Tennyson said in his great poem, Ulysses, surely the ultimate discoverer, I am a part of all I have met. Our scholars and teachers are a part of all of us, and their discoveries are part of our social fabric. They have advanced our dreams, and they have advanced society. And because they are driven to discover, they are the body and spirit, indeed the very essence of this great university's academic mission.